what we teach our students to do is to safely drive machinery. So starting with the tractors, how to look after tractors, how to maintain them, um, and they are, we assess them on their driving skills. If you've got a piece of equipment that isn't working properly or that's damaged, you are ultimately responsible. If you go on and use it, you are also partly to blame. There have been 14 fatalities this year involving agricultural machinery out of a total of 27 fatalities um, across the board in agriculture. So machinery is a very high proportion of fatalities within agriculture. We are trying to train and educate young people coming through how to use it properly. When you want something done quickly, you want to get on and do a job, and your thought process doesn't look at the danger side of it. And it has happened so often. I think one of the problems is pressure. Time of year, farmers are under a lot of pressure as regards weather. Their margins are sometimes very small, so there's a lot of activity going on in a very short period of time. And that's where the pressure comes from, and that's where shortcuts are sometimes taken. So machinery hazards, what sort of hazards have we got? Crushing, people getting crushed by various bits of equipment, entanglement, people getting caught up, balers, wrappers, impact. That is one of the biggest causes of fatalities is farm workers, people involved in agriculture getting hit by machinery. High pressure fluid injections, what sort of pressure do tractor high hydraulics run at? 3,000, 3,500 PSI. What's the danger in that? Right through your skin, it? Yes. So you're going to get plastered in oil for a start, and the worst scenario is it, it will punch your skin. That little jet of oil will punch your skin very, very easily. So minor issue, you might get uh, blood poisoning, but it can also be fatal as well. Training is still very, very important. So it's education and looking at your practices and are your practices safe? Do you need to change them? Because they've always been done a particular way for years and years, it doesn't always mean to say that that is the safe way to do them. Poor maintenance. How often does it happen that you've got a piece of equipment, you use it, you put it away, you drag it out the next year and you expect it to do exactly the same job again? Basic maintenance will make a big difference and it will save you time, money and might even save your life as well.